Hello, my loves! Welcome back to Mercy Dreams. Welcome back to Blasphemous, etc. Um, yeah, we're making progress. We're making good progress through this game. There's lots of stuff left to do, though. Lots left to explore. More than you think. This, this map is huge. It's much bigger than I originally gave it credit for. Um, I thought once we got through the door, that would be pretty much it, you know? That's certainly not the case. This place is huge. Now, we want to go back to the sleeping canvases. Because there is a very disturbing boss that we need to face there. There's a couple, actually. I don't have the means of lighting this yet. I don't quite know how one does it. I will find out. Oh, bollocks. Oh, I have to do this again. Oh. I barely made it the last time. <laughs> Truth be told! Oh, fuck! Oh, well, that's a good start. That's a very good start, I've got to say. Um, I'm almost tempted to go the long way around. <laughs> Just get the portal there and head down through the library of negated worlds. Um, but no, I'm not going to do that. That would be cowardly, wouldn't it? And of course it enables me to hear that delightful scream once again. And it is delightful. It's a wonderful sound effect. Hmm. Very peculiar. Right. Let's try and get some rhythm. Oh, fuck, really? Oh, this is going so well. Whoop. Like a lot of sort of these old fashioned. Fuck. Ah! Oh, I hate this. I hate this area. I really do. The funny thing is, it's an old-fashioned platformer, yeah? It's an old-fashioned platformer, but he doesn't handle like an old-fashioned platform character. That's what's really weird about him. He's actually more like a Dark Souls character. He's really heavy, he's really clunky, he maneuvers in very odd ways. So these sort of precision platforming areas, where you'd think actually the game would be made for that, not so much, actually. Bastard! Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna go the long way around. Oh, I'm going to go the long way around. Where's the door? Where's the seek the portal? It's over there, right? It's actually less arduous to go the long way around than to do that again. Actually, what do we have left to do around here? There's quite a bit. There's stuff up there we need to do, I know that. There's stuff here we need to do. I may go here first, actually. Because I know for a fact there are things. There are things that need doing. Hmm. There's a lot that needs doing, actually. Right. So we have the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow, the Library of the Negated Words. Well, let's go to the library. And we need to work our way down. Back to, um... Back to the, um... What's it called? The place with the portraits. I can't remember what it's called. That's right, I prefer to face these bastards than do that area. <sighs> Die, you utter wankers. Whoop. Oh, this is going to be fun. Arrgh! I love the way their skull becomes exposed and splits in half. It's a brilliant death animation, I've got to say. Ugh. 
Okay. <clears throat> Hello, my man. I don't think I've succeeded yet. Yeah, sorry, I haven't yet. Um, as I say, I'm not entirely sure to what he's referring, to be honest. I don't think I've ever done that puzzle. Bastard. Ooh, that was close. Come on, then. You know, as librarians go, they're not really that great, are they? I mean, they throw the books, for God's sake. I was never allowed to do that when I was a librarian, I could tell you. Like, not ever. Not even the shit ones. Not even something by Dean Coons. Of course, uh, shit like Twilight wasn't out back then, so I couldn't throw them. Which is a great shame. You see, this is actually easier than doing that other gauntlet area. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll tell you what I do need to find, another mea culpa. I need to find another mea culpa statue to, um... Enhance... My, uh... Penitent one. Whoa. Okay. Get off. There's Alpha. Oh, really? Really? There's no way they should be able to hit you while you're pulling a lever, whilst he's engaged in his lever pulling animation. That's a bit shit, to be honest. Isn't it, sir? I was going to say, I bet you earn any money, there's another one over here. I like the way they turn into goo. That's kind of cool. Hmm. What is down there, anyway? That's so terrible. Have we been this way? Yes, we have. Right. And where are we going next? Down is where we're going. Oop. Oh yeah. Shit. It's such a peculiar game on a, me a mechanical level. It seems like it's going to be very familiar because it feels like it's going to play like Castlevania. And it doesn't. Not really. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with you. Because what would be the point? Where are we? I want to just keep going. It may be a longer way, but believe me, it's worth it. Oh, that's how I get down there. Right, okay. Fine. Fuck. I forgot I don't have the long range attack yet, do I? Ew. Well, that made an awful mess. Drop of coagulated ink. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Uh, drop of coagulated ink. Each hesitation of the scribe was a new stain on his scriptorium. Words not written, censored before they were born in onto the paper, were powerful too. This cluster of ink, grazed by the affliction, increases the power of prayers. The scribe had raised his gaze, for he had ceased to write a while ago. How oh, very peculiar. And cryptic at that. Oh dear. I think I pissed off one of those ghosts. Didn't mean to, obviously. It just happened. Okay, this is where we want to be. This is it. The sleeping canvases. I always forget what it's called.
That's because I tend to refer to it euphemistically. As in, the giant pain in the arse area. Oh. Come on, strike. Bastards. Urgh. You see why this area is such a pain in the ass now? It is evil, this. Evil, evil, evil. There we go. After these guys have finished batting me around. Right, um... We need to go this way. <clears throat> it's interesting, the second half of the game sort of consists of everything that you would think is forbidden in this world. Things like art, things like literature. You'd be forgiven for assuming so, would you not? Like I said, these precision jumping areas, I frigging hate. <laughs> I hate with a fiery passion. Unfortunately, they become much more common. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, he's going back. Why is he going back? So if you do enough damage, does he... Gotcha. Okay. Let's try this again. There is a boss coming up that is surprisingly easy if you know how to do it. It's, um, it's a very odd one indeed. Shitting hell. Right, so how do we do this? Wait for it to go, and then go... Mwah, mwah. Huh, there we go. Right, well, hopefully... One more? Nope. There we go. Walking sepulchres. Very bizarre. Oh, it's one of you guys. Wonderful. Ah! The enemy placement can be a little odd sometimes. Okay, right. So, I don't think we can get through there yet. No. <sighs> I am not on form today, I'm telling you. Like, at all. Oh, God. Right. The boss is up that way. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay. What have you got to say? The moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown and a bull stares at her between the rock rows and the shadows. This is why you've been collecting the angel, the sort of cherubim. Look. The bull, the moon, and the cherubim about it. You have found some of my brothers. I have. Though I still ask you to find the rest of them, please keep this canvas made from the gold of our faces, and the brothers will guide you. This is really freaking weird. Yeah. Hi! In finding this holy brethren of mine, you have completed the vision of my birth, which was painted on a sleeping canvas. 
my name, Bean Hosinero. I was born of the moon and of the torment of a brave bull, and of myself, by the grace of high wills, my holy brethren. Ooh, interesting. Thank you. I'm not sure what it does, but wonderful. Very, very strange. Oh, it's an artifact. Linen of golden thread. Product of a spinning wheel that only turned on full moon nights. This thin thread was plaited to immortalize its progeny. Bestowed as a gift by the firstborn, it allows the penitent one to descend into bottomless abysses. Ah, very useful. Very bloody useful. So let's take that off and put that on for now. Uh, members of the mother came and took the painting away as soon as I told them it was finished. They didn't say a word, they just covered it up and carried it away. I've been painting for the mother all my life, recreating moments of the lives of the saints, but for this last canvas, it was as if they didn't want anyone laying eyes on it. They did not even let me, its creator, see it on display. If they ever came to display it, it was the last commission they requested from me. So this just opens up multiple ways, basically. Um, we can now uh, plunge into abysses that would have killed us before. And they all have like little secrets and secret ways, so it's possible to go back through the entire game now. Um, let's try our hand at this boss first. This is a tough one. Wait. This is quite disturbing as well, I warn you now. Watch in the background. <gasps> Exposito, Scion of Abjuration. And it's the snake we want to hit. The baby is a threat. The snake. Uh, 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 out of the way. Uh. <clears throat> Oh, bastard. Oh, look, it's made out of corpses. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's gross. Oh, fuck. Oh, I let myself die. Very peculiar indeed. Okay, yes, Exposito. Very tricky boss indeed, this one. But not far from impossible. Far from, far from the most difficult in the game. My big problem with this one is that it relies a bit too much on luck for my tastes. It does largely depend on what movement pattern the snake has. As to, and just how it decides to attack. You might get lucky, and it might stay still for ages, in which instance, like that, that was just pure luck. Pure luck. And if I'm lucky, it'll do it again. It'll stay still for a while. Or maybe not. Maybe not. You see, that was lucky. That was bloody lucky. That it decides to do that attack pattern at that particular time. Massive luck. But we've got to... You can't really rest on your laurels with it. Because if you do... It will just murder you. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Instant death, instant death if it catches you. The baby will just tear you apart. Uh, what's it doing? Yuck. Okay, what attack pattern have we got this time? Okay. Uh, oh, look, you can't dodge that. You actually cannot dodge that. It, it, there's so much luck in this boss, it's really strange. 
Okay, it's exposing its weak point. So there, that's how you do it. Now, that's a brilliant boss. I love how it looks. I really do. Requiem Eternam. But it's a little bit annoying in terms of how it works because I, I don't really want to take any credit for doing that. I really don't because it's it's largely based on luck. It exposed its heart multiple and myriad times. So, um... Oh, yeah. I can plunge down there now, can't I? If I want to. I don't at the minute because I want to see what's up here. Oh, fuck. I remember this puzzle. This is a pain in the ass. this is. You see, if you're not in the right place at the right time, the platform's disappear. It's a tricky one, this. But, we'll give it a go. You have to be right on the bloody edge for that. And even then, like, if that isn't in the right place, when the platforms decide to disappear, <laughs> it's almost impossible. I'll do it later. Um, let's go up for now. I know I can plunge into that pit if I want to at this point, and I will. Um, just not quite yet, maybe. Let's go this way first. Ah, hello. Mmm. Very peculiar. What have we got? Embossed Mask of Crescent. Oh, the masks. Yes, the masks are very important. Artifact fans in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dusty library. Confessions from Crescent. The ravages of time had taken their toll on the mind of, of the one I once respected like a father. And Dolphos betrays the trust of his most illustrious, taking refuge in the cold peaks with his host of servants, wearing his introspection as an excuse to hide his laziness and lack of faith. Only I, the only one capable of ascending to the marble halls with an adequate response, remain. The forbidden volumes of these endless shells will not resist the zeal of my searching much longer. The masks are very significant. We want three of them, I think, if I remember correctly. Hello. Nothing happened. Okay. We don't have the means of doing that, unfortunately. What we do have the means of doing, however, is this. And that opens up a big-ass shortcut for us. Wonderful. Like, a really big shortcut. Um, highly significant. Right, there's another one we can also make use of, which is very, very good. We need the red beads of wax. And that's how you snuff them all out. All of the red candles. <laughs> I can also open up a shortcut through to this way, I believe. <gasps> Maya culpa! Oh, just what I wanted. Just what I wanted, ladies and gents. So, what can we buy? Uh, Ascending Edge. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to unlock that. Um, Azure Cyclone. Or, what have we got over here? Sacred Onslaught. Uh, Mayor Culper cuts the air in such a way that it manages to produce a wave that also produces damage above and below the blade. That's pretty damn good too. I think we're going to go for this one though. For now. Excellent. Yes. Is this the one I think it is? Hang on. No, it's not. Right. Another thing we can do. Let's go back down here. And um, we can... Oh no, what's he doing? Did he just commit suicide? No, he didn't. We can now descend through these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, nasal bone of Charles the Artist, okay, um, that's interesting, we can descend through the bottomless pits now, which is really cool, uh, nasal bone of Charles the Artist, the beauty of his work sparked a strong debate within the church, it was commanded that no representation could be more beautiful than life itself, Dryden's collection was confiscated, and he was forgotten, oh, well, I hate these areas, as you may have guessed. Precision platforming, not my thing. 
not my thing at all. However, we will go down there again because there is stuff to do. There's stuff to get down there. Okay. I loved this boss. I mean, the babe. It's one of, in terms of the way it's designed, the way it looks, it's my favourite, definitely, in this game. Um, not so much the way it plays as such, as I said, because it's a bit too luck-based for my tastes. The pattern of the, the wicker snake is very peculiar. It's great. I mean, I love, I love the boss. I love the way it feels, the way it looks and everything. Ah, there is a, it is possible to do that. It's just bloody difficult. Um, right. Let's try this again, shall we? We need to jump there when this is up here, when that is here. Yes, I know I can talk to the corpse, but it's actually really badly designed, that one. There is no way of doing it without being hit. These things are always gatekeepers, aren't they? That's really interesting. We're a bit stronger now. Thanks to the virtue of mea culpa. We are a little bit stronger, which is nice. Okay, so... There is quite a lot to do here. Quite a lot. Okay. Oh my goodness. Lots of death in this session. I hope you've noticed. Lots of death. Okay, now the next area we really want to go is up here. And no, I'm not going to go get that sin back from down there. You've got to be the guilt from down there. You've got to be joking. Got to be joking. I mean, I would love to get the full background on some of these creatures. I'm sure it exists somewhere. I'm sure the writers for the game came up with stuff. But, um... I wouldn't know where to find it. Okay, so... We can either use the, um... The portal. Or we can climb our way back up. Um... Actually... There's so much to do now. There's so much we can actually mess about with. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning of the game. Because there's a lot to find. Nothing happened. I don't have the red bead of wax in my inventory, do I, either? For my um, rosaries. I don't. Hmm. Where did I find it last time? I honestly cannot remember. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, the uptick in difficulty after you finish the first three bosses is really noticeable. It's re These areas are tough. Very tough. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Right the way back, because there's a lot we need to do here. Okay, ladies and gents, when we... Oh, that may have been an act of desecration. I may come to regret that. When we come back, we will have an, a further explore around the game. We'll see if we can find the red bead of wax, because I need to get that. Uh, until next time, my dears. Etc. Bye-bye. Uh, and whatever other noises the penitent one makes. Bye-bye. Um,